So bad the LMB's not big on sharing, but that whole mess could have been avoided. Nice going down there. All right. Level 40, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. A dangerous threat is spreading beneath New York. Hiding in the shadows. Would I kill them if I don't see them? And I'm going fucking down here. Yeah. Fuck you, gameplay. Fuck you. Seizing control of the underground. Okay, where are now these supplies? Where are they? Yeah, right. Where are they? Do your work. Where the fuck are the fucking supplies? Regrouping in a maze of deadly urban dungeons. I don't know what's going on. I can't activate my pulse. Look at this guy. Where did you show up from? This is something terribly wrong with this game. Man. We are this city's only hope. A team built to fight the unknown, eliminating our enemies and reaping great rewards along the way. This shit is unplayable. Now I cannot shoot. And yet, the rumors continue. When my bullfrog is so unstable, I know there's something fucking wrong with the servers. Hello agents and welcome to another Division video. This one is very special to me because I finally reached underground level 40. I hope you enjoy in the first part of the video. I make a small montage. So I think this is the best way to show you that it was not easy and that basically it was pretty hard. I will give you a couple of suggestions how to progress faster through the underground. Let's check out the operations panel. Uh, here you can start your operation and you can choose to play normal, hard or challenging mode. Uh, suggestion is to play hard mode because the difference in rewards as you can see experiences 1110 while on challenging is like 300 more not not much than three harder though uh, the risk is much greater if you play challenging mode so basically if you want to get progress and be fast you can uh, go with the hard mode it's going to be easier for you i didn't do so i was always playing challenging mode and it cost me a lot of time and nerves as you you probably see in the preview of the video so that's the first suggestion about the directives okay uh, once you choose the mode you're going to play uh, you can choose to go with one phase two phase or three phase operations one phase operations will give you some uh, reward and uh, less risk than two-phase or three-phase operations. As you see, this is the experience points for a hard level mode <coughs> and one-phase operation. For two-phase, you are going like 3,000 
and for three phase operations you're going like 4500 around 500 experience points what i wanted to say the one phase operations is last around 15 minutes and you are basically running through the mission with no uh, no risk basically uh, two phase operations is close to 30 minutes depend how you are playing and if you are dead in like five minutes before it ends then <laughs> you spend time and you get nothing because you once you die in the underground you are reset and you starting all over again uh, the risk is even uh, higher with the three phase operations but uh, you have to choose what to do my suggestion is to go with one or two phase operations if you are going alone once you choose your phase of operation then you can choose your modifiers so mm -hmm. you can choose five of them uh, and it's going to be like this fog of war you can always enable this one Mad skills I will not suggest because running without skills in the underground is pretty pretty hard and dangerous. Waste not, want not, you can enable this one. If you start to missing ammo you can throw an ammo box and that way you are going to be okay. Special forces means that the enemy using a special ammo type uh, which is pretty dangerous but uh, you can pass with that too sickness this is a uh, health drains at constant rate lost health may be healed as normal basically if you are running with your skills uh, without this med skills enabled you will always have a healer in a group or you will have your booster shot or some other source of healing so i highly recommend that you choose sickness too so to uh, resume if you play alone then don't go more than two operations but if you playing on the hard level uh, even three operations will not be that difficult to finish uh, that's it about a setup for a gameplay as you can see by enabling any of these modifiers uh, you are getting more experience points means that you are progressing through the game even faster I don't have much uh, directive intels to enable this sickness but you get the point so that's it about uh, progressing through the game one thing is uh, very dear to me and uh, I couldn't basically wait to reach level 40 because of the final reward. The final reward is a Banshee equipment. Uh, it's a vanity thing. I am, I guess, a sucker for a vanity items and I was so happy to get that equipment and this is what I'm currently wearing. Uh, I am going to show you quickly how every piece of the Banshee outfit look so let's go to my appearance as you can see I have in a banshee hat and I'm going to show you up close how this is look I'll go with this for every item I have it's an awesome hat very detailed so that's it let's go to my pants I'm wearing Banshee pants, Banshee shadow pants, which are awesome also. Let's go to the shirts, but to see the shirt I'll have to take off my jacket. <coughs> it's pretty nice, kilted shirt so that's the Banshee shadow shirt let's check out the jacket
also kilted jacket very nice I mean it's some satisfaction after all once you reach the level 40 I like these things everybody know you are finishing level 40 so it's a some prestige item this is the Benshi Shadow Scarf I know some of you might get boring with this and I'll show you the shoes which are the last item and that's it guys okay guys I forgot to show you uh, one other thing you are also getting with the Benshi outfit it's a weapon skin this is the stealth blind skin and uh, you can see how it looks like on my bullfrog so everything is paired together uh, in the previous patch I think 1.2 the blind was a gear set which was uh, pretty nice but then it was removed and instead of the blind uh, gear set we are getting a banshee and you are all familiar with the banshee gear set that's uh, the only thing which left from the blind gear set this weapon skin okay guys what to do after you finish with the underground after you unlock 100 percent and you are level 40 well after that you are going to play underground for the underground proficiency caches as you can see on the top of the screen you have to collect 7000 experience points to get one underground cache, cache. so that's it uh, surprisingly uh, there is so many players in the underground as you can see because this is one of the best way to equip yourself it giving you a lot of nice and useful loot so this is what you need to do what you can do after you reach the level 40 okay guys let's just open one underground cache which I get when I reach underground proficiency of 7000 I got one save it for a video basically it looks and right it's the same like underground cache okay that's what you get <laughs> nothing special but that's what you do in the underground after you reach level 40 okay guys after I show you everything you are going to get when you reach level 40 I will show you the last gameplay and it is going to be a full the most important thing I didn't tell you if you want to get progress fast in the underground just get a group uh, join anybody and uh, it will be a lot more faster and a lot more easier for you to reach the level 40 That's it guys uh, Enjoying the gameplay Drop a like comment or subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video Okay guys, so I joined the group, we'll see how it goes. A new agent is joining your team. Hopefully, I'm gonna get close to the level 40, then I'll play solo for one mission and that's how I plan to do this. It's the game is so bugged. Analysis on that intel you brought in ID'd a couple of junior grade cleaners looking for a promotion. If you're up to it, Taking them out means things are a lot cooler on the streets.
Alert. Hostiles detected. Oh shit. This is going to be hard. With all these di directives enabled. Something's wrong with my pulse. I can't pulse. What's going on? What the fuck is going on? Detected.
reduced. Disorganized they are, the safer we keep the streets. Visibility reduced. Now leaving impacted area. <coughs> Patrol missing in an area that's seen a lot of cleaner activity. Get my people out of there while they're still alive. Hostiles.
Oh, that was awesome. Agent, that's the second time you've saved my life. Stick close. We've got more hostiles down here. Morning. Incoming hostiles. Too close. Thanks for saving my people. Good work, Agent. Intel says the LMB's in the tunnels trying to hit all the gear I got running down there. You want to stop them, or do you want to try to do this in the dark? Alert. Now detecting hostiles.
Hostiles incoming. Styles.
hostiles incoming. Thanks, man. Alright, level 40 guys, thank you, thank you guys, thank you guys, alright. Yeah, level 40. 